Okay. Is it willed by Allah? Yes, it's willed by Allah, but not according to their understanding. So they say, this is willed by Allah, therefore, Allah likes it. Therefore, you don't have to blame yourself and to repent. Why should you blame yourself and repent from something which you believe occurred according to the will of Allah and he likes it? You see? Qadianis have this belief. Therefore, what, what they were doing in India uh, in the time of the British colony, colonism, they used to come to the Muslims and tell them that you should not be defiers of the decree of Allah. The fact that the British are conquering you now, this is the decree of Allah. How could you defy it and stand against it and you want to free yourself from, <laughs> from <laughs> the colonization of the British, you see? This is Qadianism, this is not Islam, okay? This is not Islam. So we Muslims believe that we have a free will. No doubt about that. You can distinguish. And you can stand up now and give a speech without trembling, without shaking, right? And you can make a scene, make a play, and stand up and say some words and shake, you know, just act up like you are shaking and things, right? But sometimes you will be forced to shake when you give a speech. This was a scene that you made, and this is without your will. So you are shaking. You don't want to shake in front of the people, right? But you are shaking. You cannot stop it. You see? I remember my first speeches. I was doing like this, you know, you know, <laughs> like this. So, especially when you give khutbah, you know, and uh, a lot of people are there, you'll shake. You cannot يعني, uh, just be uh, smooth. So this is without your will. You know that this is without your will, you see. But when you do it to make people uh, or to joke with the people, you know that it is with your will. So we have a will. We can tell we have a will, you see. And those who say that we don't have a will, they are contradicting themselves. Why are they getting married? Let them not get married and wait for children. Why are they working and going into jobs and seeking uh, money? Let them sit in their houses and wait for the money to come. If they believe, as they say, you see, but they are contradictory. When it comes to the actions of the hereafter, which please Allah, they said, well, Allah did not guide us, so we have, uh, we cannot change the will of Allah. You see? You have people now who don't pray. And you tell them, why don't you pray? He said, Allah did not guide me. You see? not guide you? Did you look in the preserved tablet? Did you see that Allah has written this for you? You have not seen. You are a liar. And this same excuse was used by mushriks, idol worshippers. They said in Quran, لَوْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ مَا عَبَدْنَاهُ If Allah willed for us, we would not be worshipping those idols. You see? As if they knew what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has written for them. They did not know. That's why Allah told them, قُلْ هَلْ عِنْدَكُمْ مِنْ عِلْمٍ فَتُخْرِجُوهُ لَنَا Do you have a knowledge that you base your statement on? So bring it up. Bring this knowledge. Because this is secret. This is what's written in the preserved tablet is a secret as long as it doesn't occur. If it occurs, we know it. You know? Or we could know it. If if, if it occurs, then we could know it. Yeah, and something that occurs to me, I'll know it. You know? But as long as it is in the preserved tablet and it did not occur, 
We don't know. So anyone who says, I don't want to pray because I, Allah did not guide me, this is lying on behalf of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The third, as we mentioned, is the will of Allah, and we distinguished between the two kinds of wills. This is very important to know the two different types of wills. Now, the fact that Allah willed things does not mean that he has forced us because he has created us in the best form with tools to think with, tools to do with, you see, with full ability in, in us, you see. So Allah has created us. Ta'ala says in Quran, Man sha'a fal yu'min wa man sha'a fal yakfur. He who wishes or he who wills, let him believe. And he who wishes or who, who, uh, he who wills, let him disbelieve. If you want to disbelieve and go to hellfire, that's your choice. I have not forced you. If you want to believe and go to heavens, this is your choice. You see? The Prophet وسلم, said, كل أمتي يدخلون الجنة إلا من أبا قال ومن يأبى يا رسول الله قال من أطاعني دخل الجنة ومن عصاني فقد أبى This is in Sahih Bukhari All my nation will go to paradise Except those who refuse So the companions يعني said Who would refuse to go to paradise The Prophet وسلم, said Anyone who obeys me then he will go to paradise. And anyone who disobeys me, then this is just like saying, I don't want to go to paradise. You see? This is stronger than saying by tongue because you are actually saying it by actions. You are not going according to the orders of Allah and his messenger. And finally, the fourth, pillar of faith the, uh, the fourth uh, step in this pillar of faith is to believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created all our actions he is the creator of our actions we are not the creator of anything are you the creator of anything no no one creates anything truly Allah only creates to Allah belongs all the creation and all the rule, all the order. You see? You see? So, whatever we do, whatever we do is created by Allah because we are created, our attributes are created, our actions are created, but we should not misunderstand this. Yani some people misunderstood this. They thought that the fact that Allah is the creator of our actions, that we are not responsible for our actions. You see? This is not true. We are the true doers of our actions. It's not Allah who is eating for us or drinking for us. We are eating, we are drinking, we are praying, we are fasting, we are giving zakat, right? In Quran it says, As-sa'imina was-sa'imat, wal-mutasaddiqina wal-mutasaddiqat, wal-hafidhina furujahum wal-hafidhat. Allah is attributing those actions to who? To us. You see? But those Sufis claim that you will not have tawheed until you believe that there is no true actor except Allah. That you are not moving your foot now. And you are not shaking your head. And the brother is not moving his hand. If you believe that you are doing anything, then you are a mushrik to them. You are not a true muahid at least. 